Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this problem without a calculator. So we have 8 to the power of 8 divided by 4 to the power of 4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that both of these numbers or terms are the same base. So let's make both of these bases 2 because that is a common factor of these two numbers. So 8 is actually equal to 2 to the power of 3. And 4 is equal to 2 squared. So now I'm going to rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So this would be 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 8 over sorry, 2 squared to the power of 4. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is actually equal to a to the power of m times n. So we, first of all, we have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 8. This would be 2 to the power of 3 times 8. We have this over 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 4. This would be 2 to the power of 2 times 4. This is equal to, well, 2 to the power of 3 times 8. 3 times 8 is 24. So we have 2 to the power of 24 over 2 to the power of 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. So we have 2 to the power of 8. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, we can think of 2 as a, m as 24, and n as 8. So this would equal 2 to the power of 24 minus 8. And 24 minus 8 is 16. So this would be 2 to the power of 16. Now, 2 to the power of 4, as we all know, is equal to 16. So 2 to the power of 16 would simply be 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 4, right? So this would be 2 to the power of 16 would be 16 times 16 times 16 times 16. So sorry about that. So this would also equal 16 to the power of 4. So these two are same answers, but in different forms.